and welcome back to Waterloo Fire Rescue Safety Talks. Let's just jump right in where we left off. In this episode, we will be joined by Medical Supervisor Lieutenant Jason Hernandez. In this safety episode, Lieutenant Hernandez will be talking with us about how to call 911. Everyone, please welcome Medical Supervisor Jason Hernandez. Hello, and welcome to Safety Talk number two. My name is Jason Hernandez. And I have been a firefighter and paramedic with Waterloo Fire Rescue for 23 years. Currently, I'm the medical supervisor. As a professional emergency responder, I've responded to many calls for help, and most of them started with someone like you calling 911 because they recognized an emergency. Let's talk about some important things to remember when you need to call for help in an emergency. First, you need to stay calm. Stay calm, take a deep breath, and try not to panic it's important to be able to think and speak clearly during an emergency. Second, we want to identify the emergency. What's the emergency? Is it a fire, a serious injury, maybe someone who is unconscious or very ill? Maybe an adult has asked you to call 911 for them because they recognize an emergency. Three, know the emergency number. That's an easy one, 911, right? The United States, Canada, and many other countries, the emergency number is 911. Remember, this number should only be called in true emergencies. So number four is find a phone. Move to a safe location if possible, such as outside the building in case of a fire, or away from any danger, and find a phone. Do not remain inside a house or building that is on fire to look for a phone. Number five, dial the emergency number. Right, we remember the number is 911. And then we're gonna wait for someone to answer. They will answer by asking you what kind of emergency you're having and where exactly you are. Next, speak clearly. Provide your name, location, and a brief description of the emergency. Listen carefully to any instructions or questions the operator may have. Next, you wanna stay on the line. Never hang up the phone until the operator on the other end tells you it's okay to do so. They will help you stay safe until help arrives. Number eight, inform a trusted adult. The last thing we want to do is let a trusted adult know that an emergency has happened as soon as possible. This could be a teacher, a parent, or any responsible adult who can provide additional help and support. Remember, calling 911 should only be done when there is a true emergency. If you call 911 when there isn't an emergency, you may put first responders, like me and others, in danger. Now that you know how to call 911, talk to your parents and teach them what you've learned. Thanks for listening and stay safe. Medical Supervisor Hernandez, thank you for sharing with us all of that wonderful information about how to dial 911. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay safe.